In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the new computer use capabilities that just came out from Anthropic. What it allows you to do is effectively control your computer via API calls. They have this really nice template that they included within their documentation. And effectively what this is a Docker container that's built in Python as well as a Streamlit app. And the nice thing with this example is it's a dedicated virtual machine and it has minimal privileges, so it doesn't have direct access to your full file system and all of that. So you don't need to worry too much in terms of privacy or it accidentally doing something that it shouldn't be doing on your local machine. So in terms of the tech stack, it's pretty straightforward. It's a Python app. It's using Streamlit to be able to have that front end. And then it's a Docker container. So just make sure that you have an Anthropic API key and you can also use Bedrock or Vertex to set this up. And then make sure you have Docker installed and then you'll be able to get started. If you don't have an API key, grab an API key because that's going to be our first step. Once you have your API key, there's different steps depending on whether you're using Bedrock or the Anthropic API. I'm just going to be using the Anthropic API in this example. What you can do here is I just copied this section of the code block. You can head on over to your terminal and then just submit this along with your API key. Once you have all that you need to get started, you need to have Docker downloaded and running. Just make sure that you have it running in the background and then you can paste in that command there. So if it's the first time that you're running it, it's just going to run through and download all of the different dependencies. Once everything has pulled down and is downloaded, you'll see everything started, and then you can head on over to localhost 8080. Depending on the terminal that you're using, you can just alt or command click that link to open it up within your web browser. And then from there, you can begin to interact with it. I can say, what is the latest video on developers digest? YouTube channel, I'll submit that. So we see that the tool use is going to be computer. The first action is going to be a screenshot. From there, it sees that there is the Firefox icon there. Now we see it navigating there to click that icon. Now Firefox is open. The next action is to move the mouse to the URL bar. We're typing now that we see that it's on YouTube. It's going to click the search bar and it's going to type Developers Digest. And then from there, we see Developers Digest. There's the latest video that I just put out on computer use. This wasn't a technical example. It was just an overview on what they released. But otherwise, this is pretty amazing and definitely a really fun tool to play around with. The last response there, we can see the latest video from Developers Digest. It's titled Anthropic Cloud Can Now Control Your Computer and was uploaded two hours ago. It has this many views and it's this long. This is definitely a really fun tool that I encourage you to check out. Otherwise, if you found this video useful, please comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.